like to welcome you to this week's video blog. It's a blessing to have you with me. This week we're going to talk about a pivotal topic, and that is a family. And specifically, we're going to talk about the father's role within that family and how it relates to his children. We're going to consider four things, four things that will help to ensure that we have children that are a blessing. First thing is to teach them from Yahweh's word. This is core. This is important. This is really the number one step that we as fathers should be doing is teaching them Yahweh's truth, teaching them morality from Yahweh's word, not morality that we find in the world, but morality defined by our Father in heaven. Matter of fact, we're commanded to do just this. We're commanded within the word to teach them Yahweh's truth. Deuteronomy chapter 6, 6 through 7, this is called the Shema. In Hebrew, it means to hear. Or here's what Yahweh says within the Shema. He says, um, And thou shalt teach them diligently unto your children, and thou and shalt talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be as frontless between your eyes. So we see here that we're to teach them of Yahweh's word every day, all day. That we're to teach them when we sit in our house. That we're to teach them when we rise up. That we're to teach them when we, um, we go to bed. You know, we're to teach them all day. Yahweh's truth, we're to speak, them, uh, speak to them about the morality that we find through our Father's word. You know, a man that did this, a man that was incredible and a great man within Scripture was Abraham. And Genesis 18, verse 19 says this, it says, For I know him, and he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of Yahweh to do justice and judgment. So here we find that Yahweh knew Abraham would obey him by ensuring that his children understood his word and understood his morality. And we know that he had a son named Isaac. We also know that Isaac had a son named Jacob. We know that these men, although they made their mistakes, were good men. They were righteous men. And in large part because of Abraham, the father and grandfather, that was an example and taught them from Yahweh's word. Another lesson, another step that we can certainly do and should be doing is discipline. This is something that is not done all too often now, but is something that is commanded within Yahweh's word, discipline. Hebrews 12, verse 5 says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaks unto you as unto children, my son. Despise not the chastening of Yahweh, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. So we know that Yahweh rebukes us. We know that Yahweh chastises us. We know that Yahweh admonishes us. We know that he corrects us when we do something wrong. In like manner, we should also be correcting our children. We should be showing discipline. Now let me say this just real quickly. Discipline does not equate to abuse. Understand that. We are not to abuse our kids. We are not to go too far with them, but we are to show discipline and do it in moderation. Or number three, we're to spend time with our kids. This is so important. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So we find a promise here within our Father's Word, and that promise is simply this. If we teach Yahweh's word to our children in a right way, in a way that it would be pleasing to him, our children, when they are old, will not depart from that path. This is a promise we find within his word. And we do this in part by teaching them directly from the scripture, from, from Yahweh's word, but we also do this by simply spending time with them. You know, an example is an important thing for, our, for us fathers to provide. You know, we can do this in many ways. But I think it's important that we spend time, quality time with our children. We can do this with, with camping or fishing, but, you know, it's good to get out. And, um, you know, again, spend quality time with our kids. This is an important uh, role of a father that we find within the truth. And uh, the last thing here I want to talk about is compassion or love. We shall be people, and certainly fathers, who should be showing love to our children. You know, Psalms 103 is one of my favorite passages. I really enjoy this psalm. And I want to share with you a few verses here and how it relates then to us fathers. It says in verse 8, Psalms 103, Yahweh is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us, like as a father pities his children, so Yahweh pities them that fear him. So we find here that as Yahweh pities us as his children, that we as fathers should also pity our children. And this simply means that we are to show compassion, that we are to show mercy, that we are to show love to our children, that we are to show forgiveness. 
you know, we're not worthy of Yahweh's promise. Nothing we've ever done shows that we are worthy of, of his promise and, and the grace that he has shown to us. And yet he loves us and shows compassion upon us. And we should be showing the same love and compassion to our children as Yahweh has shown to us. So again, those four things are number one, that we're to spend time with in the word. We're to teach them about the morality that we find. And let's face it, today children are not moral. And we see a lot of rebellion within this world. And the majority of the reason is, is they simply don't know what morality is. We need to teach our children morality from our Father's word. And number two, we're to show discipline when needed, not abuse. Number three, we're to spend time with them. And number four, we're to show them compassion or grace or and love as fathers, says, as Yahweh again pities us, we're to show pity or compassion upon our children. And before I leave, I want to just remind you about two things. Number one, we have our webinar. This is December 27, 7 p.m. This is with Elder Allen and myself, along with Elder Pete Baca from Yahweh's Assembly of Messiah, a very good man, and also Elder uh, Dwayne Wilson, which we've spent considerable time with. He's with Reach for Yahweh International Ministries. We're going to be looking at the prophetic trends that we find within Yahweh's Word and looking at signs that we are seeing in current news. So we would um, encourage you to log on and join us for this very special evening, December 27, 7 p.m., and that is Central Time, and you can join us at wireroom.org slash live. also like to uh, invite you to our Sabbath broadcast. We broadcast our Sabbath service live over the Internet every week, 1.30 p.m. Central Time. We know that many people are without fellowship, so we would encourage those without fellowship or those simply looking to supplement their fellowship to join us for our live broadcast. We have our music. We have our message. This is a very exciting broadcast, so we would encourage you to join us for this broadcast every Saturday, 1.30 p.m. Central Time. We pray that you would join me next week for another video blog. And until then, may Yahweh bless you. Bye-bye.